Hey guys, Steve here. Today we're going to break down a game in the Tier 5 German Destroyer Gata. I got Bay on the screen there, Burke and Swirsky. Burke tightens up the dispersion on the guns, quite helpful for these wonky German Destroyer guns. And Swirsky, pretty good. When you have him on here, you got Bay and him, so it's a double concealment build. That'll put your concealment up there with the upper echelons of each tier. You're still not going to be the most concealed, likely, um, in the match, but you can hang with the best of them. Not a bad option. I don't use double concealment as much as I used to back in the day. Uh, the value of Swirsky has dropped over time as more and more inspirations have come out. I know a lot of you guys desperately want him and the Biscuit, but I think a lot of you guys want the Biscuit mainly for Swirsky. I don't think you're missing out that much. I only use him on maybe one or two builds at this point in time. The Biscuit itself is actually quite a fun destroyer, so if you're interested in the ship, I'd be all for it, but I wouldn't recommend getting the Biscuit just for Swirsky at this point in time. Moving forward, though, if you noticed, uh, we checked the roster. I always do that at the beginning of each game. Didn't do it very adequately this time, though, because we missed kind of the key piece of information that we should have been looking for. When you check the roster of the enemy before the game, you got to primarily say, okay, these are the main threats to my ship, and you will also want to be looking for opportunities. Okay, these are the ships that I could do potentially very well. And so as a destroyer player, I always check for radar cruisers, which is what we missed here. We didn't see the Budione. And I also check the enemy destroyers, you know, just to see how our destroyers match up, how we potentially want to play against them. So even right now, you can see we have all the ships visible. I need to be locking the guns here, and then you can see we actually just barely scan the Budione. Obviously the Fubuki caught my attention. We saw him on the map and I wanted to start engaging him if at all possible or keep him spotted. But the fact that there's a Budione back there is a major problem. Now a lot of Budione players don't even know that they potentially could use a radar. <laughs> you got to go to the ship loadout. You got to swap it. But when it's on and it's only an 8.1 kilometer radar, so it's not the most effective radar known to man, but it exists and it's a major problem for destroyer players. You need to stay away from those radar cruisers. And everyone else on your team needs to be shooting the radar cruisers first. It's still something that you rarely see happening. Target selection, proper target selection, dictates killing those radar cruisers first. Or at least tied for first. Destroyers are kind of your main scoring pieces. And radar cruisers are the biggest threats to your destroyers. So protecting your own destroyers as valuable as killing the enemy destroyers. Anyway, once we see him there, uh, we're actually going to press our luck here. Now, I want to, I got the sonar going. I wanted to push that Fubuki and get him killed. But the Budione, I'm starting to think to myself, all right, maybe he already used the radar. Maybe he didn't even have the radar equipped. I'm starting to come up with excuses in my mind. Now I'm like, okay, he's broadside. Let's start shooting at him. Mistake, mistake, mistake. I'm assuming that the enemy is playing suboptimally, and those of you guys that follow me a lot, know that we should always say let's assume the enemy is going to play correctly they're going to build their ships correctly everything in terms of our assumptions about the enemy needs to be that they're going to be doing the proper uh, thing if you want to make assumptions about your own team and assume that they're going to do the incorrect play every time not only will we be correct most <laughs> of the time but you'll also be you know working from the proper assumption there because you know, you can account for the mistakes and you can kind of react to them before they actually happen. Anyway, we've harassed the Budione. He looked over here, he saw a cloud, he pops the radar, he gets the shot off. That takes us down about a third of our health there. Yes, we kill him. Knocks out the engine though. We need to immediately repair the engine. We need to immediately pop the speed boost. You can see there he's got a potential kill shot coming at us. And as a destroyer player, if you're caught dead in the water when you got torps coming at you, often that's how you go down. So... Uh, that kind of flushed us out of the smoke. Unfortunately, now we're squared off against the Fubuki and a Tier 4 Italian cruiser, Monte Caccioli. So our lack of respect to the Budione caused us to get flushed from our protective smoke here. Now we're in a fight that on paper we should lose every time. Fubuki, 1v1, yeah, I can take him a lot of times, but he's got cruiser support. And the cruiser support with Destroyer, you know, 2v1, I should lose that almost all the time. Got to make a snap decision. How can I help my team as I'm dying here? Grievously wounding the Fubuki, potentially even killing him, is my priority number one. I got a broadside Monte Cuccioli. I have options there. Um, I could switch to AP, maybe even kill him. And the Monte Cuccioli is much more threatening to me currently 
than the Fubuki. But again, this is a very low probability that we're going to survive. You got to recognize when that is the case and then try and figure out how you can, you know, in your dying moments, how can I help my team out? Uh, we do get the shots off the Fubuki. We do get him down and we did get Torps on the Mana Controlling. Still in dying mode here. We're still under the assumption we're going to die, but we do want to see if we can wound him as well. So we switch over to AP, still broadside. Get those going towards that waterline shot. Trying to pick the Citadel there. See if we can get him down as he's got shots coming into us, potentially to kill us. But no, we get the shot off first and we get the double Citadel. Take him down. So there's a lot of luck involved right there. That's why I'm showing this to you is more of a learning opportunity to say, how do we get into this bind in the first place? Because normally you're not going to see games like this featured on my channel or anyone else's channel because they only last one minute. I was being hyper aggressive against that Fubuki. I actually had him dead to rights because we had a big smoke cloud between us and all of his support ships. I could have rushed the Fubuki, killed him quickly, sat in his smoke, or even used my own smoke to further disengage. All that went out the window when the Budione popped up in my realm of existence. And he should have been there from the get-go. As soon as this game started, I should have been aware that Budione needed to be looking around. And he was on the screen. And we even actually tapped him with our cursor and we didn't even notice him. So there was multiple times where, you know, the most important ship for us to be aware of in this particular match, he popped up onto our existence. He was on the screen when we checked the roster. He was on the screen when we scroll over him. Never did it register into our thick skulls that he was in the match until it was too late. Then we were positioned by him, you know, within his radar range. And we decided to start shooting at him. I always say you're kind of tapping on the skulls or the side of the skull of the people that you're shooting at. Like this Byron, for instance. He's not paying attention to me, right? You can see he's shooting at someone else. By shooting at him, he might lock his guns or he might just swing his screen over here to say, what's going on here? Then he sees, oh, there's a destroyer. Let's angle towards him because there's torps coming in. Maybe that's what happened there. Maybe that's why he dodged him. Maybe he was just angling towards those guys. But that's just an example of shooting at those ships. The Budione wasn't thinking about us. He never saw us. We were sitting in the smoke. Uh, if he had better game awareness in that instance, he would have noticed that smoke cloud, uh, launched some torps our direction as he was rotating his guns, then pop the radar once the guns are in position, kill us very quickly. Easy play, a game you would never see because it would have been left on the cutting room floor. So how do you play against those radar cruisers as a destroyer? Just Pretend that the radar range like propulses you from without, you know, you can't stay within the range You're electromagnetically propelled out of there and just stay the heck away from them You should know the ranges of all the radar cruisers You should know the identities of all the radar cruisers if you don't want to put the time into learning those uh, Just know that the American cruisers British cruisers Russian cruisers uh, Typically, you know, they don't all have radars, but those are the ones that could potentially have them and treat them all like they have radar until you uh, can take the time to learn which ones have them. As for ranges, typically you're going to see around 9 kilometers is the most average range. But they can go all the way up to 10. Uh, or the Budione on the low end is 8.1. So you got to understand roughly what you're dealing with. Once you recognize that there's a radar cruiser in the area, do not get close enough to it that you can potentially get in there. Every time you're... Even if the radar is not going off, the minute we were within 8.1 kilometers of the Budione, that was an ongoing mistake that needed to be rectified. So we got away with it. We ended up being you know, quite effective in that game. But that was a lot of luck built in and just a little bit of skill built on top of that. So anyway, that was a look at the Gaide for you. And primarily just talking about radar cruisers and staying away from them as destroyers. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys. And we'll see you all later. Peace.